Hi there, in this video I'd like to present you Retopo Planes, a new tool for retopology for garments. Let's set it up in the assets library first. So we have to type in our directory and once it's done we'll find it in our asset browser. So let's take a look over here. And yeah, with it we have those four assets. Let's first take a look at the demo shirt. Here we can see this tool already in action, everything is set up. We have our cloth uh, retopologized using the uh, patterns that you can see over here. Uh, that retopology is guided by these planes over here. And here on the side we have our source uh, cloth from Marvelous that has 3D2 patterns, uh, geometry nodes applied to it. And once it's applied, the cloth will lay flat on floor, which is the starting point for our retopology. So yeah, these are all the parts that make our retopo tool working. And now let's move on to the next example where we'll be making a retopo from scratch. So let's start by importing an OBJ that I exported from Marvelous. And yeah, once we have it in the scene, mm, Let's take a look at it. First thing we need to do is to apply the 3D2 patterns to it. In this case, we need to reset the rotation of this object by applying rotation and scale to it. And also remember to check if UV islands are separate and if the patterns are not overlapping each other or are not merged if not supposed to. And now next step is to drop Retopo main into the scene. This is our setup where we have the Retopo planes modifier. We just need to pick the cloth pattern like so. And now inside we also have this uh, simple plane that we'll be using as a guide for our retopology. So we need to place the vertices on the borders of patterns. And once it's done, you will see it filled with the quads like so. And you can see these helper points that show you where to place retopo planes on the connected patterns. I also recommend to pin the modifier uh, so you can have access to all the settings while editing the retopo planes. Also, let's split the view so we can see our cloth in 3D at the same time. Our main uh, settings in here are the density. Let's make it low since we want the base of our mesh to be low res. And next up is the snapping distance, which is also quite important. You can see it indicated by this circle around the vertices, showing you when it will be snapping to the borders of the patterns. So yeah, let's continue with the process by adding more cuts to the places where the patterns meet, like armpits or the shoulders. And the process itself is pretty easy to get familiar with since we are using all the typical tools of Blender like a loop cut, knife, or like duplicating the mesh like in this very case. And all of this while being guided by this responsive UI that tells you exactly what you need to do next. Mm. So yeah, after adjusting all the points uh, in those patterns, let's move on to the sleeves of the sweater. And like before, I just grab one of the faces and I duplicate to start the new pattern. And once again, let's place uh, the vertices in the corners, which is basically all it comes down to when creating retopology, since the density of patterns is calculated automatically across the connected patterns. But here you can also see this uh, debug info which tells you that for auto density to work, you need to add more cuts to it. You can turn it off, but then you would have to adjust the density of each pattern by hand. So yeah, all it takes is just adding this one vertice. And here you can see it being indicated that you need to add another vertice on the other pattern. So let's go back to the sleeves and over here, you will see mm, this additional debug that is those blue lines around the patterns. Uh, they show you where the mesh is open, so to speak. So like here on the shoulders, 
uh, you can see that it's not perfectly matching and when it is uh, the blue line disappears and the rest is pretty straightforward so i'll jump forward a little bit and uh, i'd like to present you one more thing that is a hidden option in blender that is a uh, navigation and you can pick the walk navigation which is very convenient to preview the 3d cloth uh, from different angles okay and now let's skip ahead uh, to the final mesh that we made with this tool and now that our low poly is set we are ready to transfer all the details and this will happen just by increasing the subdivs and the details are transferred at the same time so this is our final high poly mesh which keeps all the subdivs all the uvs and for the final test of it we can now apply the modifier and you will see that once we apply it all the debugs and all the patterns disappear we are left just with our cloth and for the final test let's uh, apply multi-rest to it and you can see when we unsubdivide all the subdivs are there and also like i said the uvs are here in place and they are scaled to fit the first tile and now this mesh is ready to be used in some other softwares whether substance or zbrush so let's now try it in zbrush how it's all looking and once we import it over there and you can see that it's ready to be used all the subdivs are here uh, you can sculpt on it and if we look into the uvs um, yeah the uvs are also here so yeah now let's go back to blender mm. And back to our retopo, there is one more thing, very important one that I'd like to show you, uh, which is this additional way to control the density of the mesh. So let's say we'd like to sleeve to be, to have more cuts. How we do that? We just select the side edges and with shift E, so crease edge, we increase the amount of the edges. And then there's the second option uh, which is to control the density with the mark sharp edge and uh, the controls for it are inside of the modifier so once you select the edge sharp then you can add more cuts to it with the density add and also additionally you can control where those cuts appear with the density threshold okay and that's uh, most of the things that I wanted to show you there is also left this one option quite interesting one um, that lets you separate parts of the mesh so let's say we would like this sleeve to be a separate mesh and the final object we just select this uh, edge loop and with the edge bevel weight we create this cut and so once we will apply this modifier in the final mesh this sleeve will be a separate mesh so yeah let's collapse it and now you can see that we can detach it which might be uh, useful in some cases so yeah guys that's pretty much it mm. if we look inside here uh, some extra options like high debug uh, if this 3d cloth would occlude our patterns we can offset it and then we can preview the poly loops which might be sometimes helpful we can change the colors of the ui and yeah that's pretty much it for this tool i think uh, what i showed you is enough to start working on your retopo i will be dropping some mm, additional videos where I will show a more in-depth look into those auto density settings and how you can have a full control of the density with the crease. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. You can find this tool on Blender Market or Gumroad and I hope you will find it useful. Thank you.